You know something? We may all owe Apple a huge apology. You can natively record on your iOS device. Say what? Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal and this video is all in response to a video I made myself a week ago when I contacted Apple on their live chat to find out why they didn't do screen recorders or why they hated screen recorders and so on. And it's not really about Apple hating screen recorders. Uh, we'll go into that perhaps in more detail in a later video. But it was about how Apple doesn't natively screen record or doesn't allow the facilities. But in one of the comments I got, and it was from AJ170, who just loves all this free publicity that he gets on my channel. He said that, I don't know if you know this, but Apple have already put the code into their devices to natively screen record. And I was thinking, oh yeah, that rings a bell. And I'm not sure if he's talking specifically about this, but there is something that's been in pretty much iOS 9, I think, called Replay Kit, which does allow you to screen record. So let's take a more further detailed look about what that actually is. We'll get the bad news out of the way first, and to be honest, there is quite a lot of it. Replay Kit is not an application that you can download and use as a screen recorder. It's a framework for developers to insert into their games in order to allow screen recording on iOS devices. And if you search on the internet, there's not that much information. If you want to know which games support it, well, that is even worse news because it's a tiny amount of games on the Apple App Store. This was the best list I could find, and as you can see, there's probably 50 or 60 games there out of hundreds of thousands that you can download off the App Store, which support replay kit and screen recording to differing varies of degree. And I'm gonna show you the best possible screen recording that you can do now. So this is a game called Hungry Shark World, which I've downloaded off the App Store. Comes in at one gig, so it is quite a huge game, but it does show off Replay Kit better than any other application I know. Uh, so I will just go into a game and start it up. And what you should see in the top right hand corner here is a little record button, which will allow me to do a screen recording. So if I tap on it, that will bring up the usual permissions and I can record the screen with the microphone. So it's essentially the same as what you might see as Airship. And once it starts recording, I could play the game as I usually would do, eating lots of fish. And hopefully there should be some swimmers here which I can have a good nibble at. Get here. Have I got you? Yeah, no he didn't get away. I'm pretty sure I ate this one. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this is the game in its uh, rawest form. And once I finish my recording, if I tap on the camera button again, that should bring up a quick editing screen uh, where I could maybe trim it if I want to but the important button here is the save button which I can tap and that should have saved it to the camera roll so let's take a look and see if it's there. And so if we now go to our photo gallery to the video album we can see that the video for Hungry Shark World was stored to my videos and if I press play there it is. It's working as if I'd done a screen recording through Airshow or any other iOS screen recorder and there is no glitching because of course it has been recorded I guess officially through the Apple Replay Kit and I can scrub it and all is good and I could then edit it, upload it to YouTube and whatever I wanted. So this is proof that on certain games you can directly screen record your game and you don't have to worry about privacy or anything else because it's recording just inside the game. So, do we owe Apple an apology because they provide the screen recorders? Well I think yes. The problem is, developers just haven't adopted this screen recording facility and they've used it very poorly in some versions of the replay kit, as I will show you now. Here we have a game called Tower Dash, whereby you tap on the character to attach himself to different parts of a wall to get further up it. It's quite an entertaining game, a uh, very addictive one where you just want to keep having one more go. But the important button we're interested in here is the Go Live button at the top left here. If I press that, it kind of offers a sharing option to other applications that are able to stream. For example, I could broadcast this video 
I'll record this video and broadcast it to show. Or I also have something here called Dev Stream Lite, which will actually broadcast the video to that application and record it. Now, I don't recommend trying to use this. I'm not going to give you the links or anything uh, because it really doesn't work very well at all. Uh, but this isn't screen recording per se. It's just giving you options to do something with the video, but not record it in able to edit it. Uh, but that's one of the better ones. Other ones are even worse. This game is called Into the Dead, which is your typical zombie game, and it does have an auto-record feature at the top here. If I tick that and then go into the game, it does ask me if I want to do my screen recording, which of course I will say yes, and then you just play the game, and hopefully at the end of it, you should have the option to save a recording on something, but it doesn't actually work like that. Let me see if I can get myself killed. Uh, by her maybe or him yeah there we go so uh, I'm now being eaten alive and the only option I have at the end of all this is to do something called uh, share recording and if I tap that it doesn't do anything I presume I've got to connect now and presumably is that connect to uh, the into the dead's servers create an account or through social media and no, that's just no good I want the screen recording so I can do what I want with it so in this example there's a screen recording potentially there, but I can't do anything with it. Another example of a game I tried was Air Wings, where I pressed the record button, but then I had no idea where the screen recording was. So the recording experience with Replay Kit, a natively recording iOS facility, is very patchy. So what you saw there was me using iOS screen recording as it's supposed to be done, finding a game that supports it through Replay Kit, doing a screen recording, and it worked fine for one single game. The other ones just weren't compatible really with the screen recordings that I wanted. So who's to blame? Does it lie with Apple or does it lie with the game developers? Well, first of all, game developers, if you have the option to screen record, why wouldn't you include it in your games? The answer probably is it's too much of an overhead and a resource to make it available. And how important is that to game developers for people wanting to put games on YouTube? Probably not that high. So Apple, you need to make this option much easier for game developers to adopt. Just a simple flick of a switch maybe, rather than having to do complex coding. Now I may be completely wrong about this, I'm not a developer, so if any developers are watching this and know just how hard it is to put a replay kit into a game, then do let us know in the comments below. But I'd love to hear your thoughts in general about this I suppose small discovery that you can screen record on your iOS device but it's so poorly supported that it's a waste of time and it's why we all go to these uh, underworld uh, dark iOS app market place I guess to get Airshow and Pixelrec on the all the others. So yeah, share your comments and let's start a discussion. Thank you very much for watching what you might call a more serious video on the Video Gadgets channel. I do hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more iOS screen recording content just like this. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. And yeah, I'm really sorry. I have no funny outro on this one. It turned out to be quite a serious video. More fun in the next one, hopefully.